Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about a new QNAP product. Now we have talked about QNAP quite a lot in the last month. A lot of their new hardware for 2020-2021 has started arriving on the scene and much like you would expect from QNAP they have been moving not just within the world of network attached storage but they're looking at all those network appliances. This year alone we've talked about a number of their managed and unmanaged switches, we've talked about some of their PCIe upgrades, we've talked about some of their Thunderbolt upgrades and today I want to talk about their brand new Wi-Fi 6 router. Now it is an enterprise grade router, this is definitely one with an eye on the business user, but it is definitely a, de a device that ticks a lot of my boxes of stuff that I've talked about this year. Now it's known as the QNAP Qhora, Qhora, Kior, I don't know, uh, 301W, uh, I'm just going to call it the 301W for the rest of this video because I'm certain I've completely butchered the pronunciation of the Kiora there, and yes, I'm naming it after the drink. It is an AX3600 Wi-Fi 6 router with 10GBE on board. How many boxes got ticked by that one sentence? This is... Again, as mentioned, an enterprise grade product. This is designed for people that currently do factor SD-WAN into their enterprise environments. SD-WAN is a system of communication between multiple sites at uh, not only high speed, but also high security. A number of companies need to find the way in which uh, networking can be communicated between different sites in the most efficient and prioritous fashion without affecting things like VoIP, without affecting things like backups and central service that have multiple sites accessing them. And over the years, although there have been numerous methods that have been hangovers from the last 10 years, SD-WAN has far become the most desirable one. And QNAP have their own in QWAN, uh, and that should be factored into the 301W router here. But let's talk more about that hardware, shall we? Because unfortunately, we don't have one here. We should have graphics here on screen. But as mentioned, this is a router. It's a managed router. It does also arrive with Wi-Fi 6. It's a, um, a 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, two bands each. Um, wireless router each one of those bands and because they're dual uh, each one of those frequencies even uh, as their dual band does mean double the frequencies on each and now as this is a, an AX3600 router that means you're looking at around 360 megabits per second uh, maximum transmission uh, for a connected user across those frequencies so do bear that in mind it will make a difference depending on the frequencies and the range of frequencies in use and of course the media storage device you're interacting with be it over the internet or a localized uh, network attached storage device but you're still looking uh, uh, 1,182 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency, so again about 118 megabytes per second, and 2,475 megabits per second uh, on the dual 5 gigahertz uh, frequency, so again 247, and that's where we get that 350, that 360 number. Now, these frequencies are across eight individual antennas inside the device. It doesn't have external antennae, it's got eight inside, each one of them 5 dBi, and those uh, antennas all work together in the device and its managed software, that um, SD-WAN software inside and switch management. Although I will also add that this device supports multiple SSIDs. Let's mute that there. Now, um, the device has that 10 gigabit connection mentioned. It's got two 10 gigabit ports there on the rear that can be used not only for traditional, you know, Ethernet connections, RJ45 um, LAN connections, but they can also be used for WAN connections, which again, if you do have high-speed networks, this is a router device. And in that SD1 environment, a 10 gig WAN port isn't as crazy as it sounds. There's also four 1GBE ports factored onto the rear of the device, and there's a couple of USB ports there that are almost certainly going to be utilizing some kind of form of storage, uh, external storage applications. Um, it's rated at 24 watts uh, usage, and it is quite a small chassis. It's a plastic white chassis, LEDs on the front, ports on the back, ventilation on either side. And, you know, it is an SD-WAN router. This is a very much part of Synology's recent move into not only SD-WAN with that Q-WAN beta that we saw a little while ago that I believe is now out of beta, but on top of that, it is this Wi-Fi 6 integration that we're seeing. With Wi-Fi 6 and that upgrade card we talked about on the channel uh, around about a week ago, I believe, and we've already got the review and stuff out there for you guys. But 
it's great to see them jumping onto this. They've got a lot of experience in network equipment. We've seen QNAP with a range of managed and un unmanaged 10 GPE switches. So it's great to see them now moving into the router area. What I really want to see from this device is larger scale and smaller scale ver versions. There's a lot of talk about VPN mesh on the product pages from QNAP on this, but I will highlight that it's not the kind of mesh that you think when it comes to having mesh routers together. This is more about long distance VPN tunnels meshed between equipment that are all connected to each QHORA device, so bear that in mind. But I am looking forward to seeing what the software's got on offer for this device. There should be a link in the description to NAS Compares to tell you more information about this device. And of course, as soon as it's available to buy, visit the guys at span.com. They will be able to help you out on that. But do stay tuned to learn more about this device because it looks like things are ramping up and no doubt this will see release relatively soon. So I can't wait to show you guys a lot more about the software, the hardware, and of course, performance testing. Otherwise, I will see you later. Click like if you enjoyed the video, click subscribe to learn more, and I will see you next time.